Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brie Green. I'm losing freaking papers everywhere. <laughs> How do you do it? It's Friday around lunchtime. Just checking in with everybody to see how your day's going. It's gorgeous outside here. Um, holy crap. A little bit of windy, though. Let's get this under control here. So I want to check in with you guys to see how merch is going and how print-on-demand is going. So um, first of all, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure that you like and share Please uh, join the D4D group, Design for Dollars, uh, Facebook group, and like our page. If you're catching this on YouTube, um, hit subscribe, um, hit like, and um, yeah, just make sure you share this if, if there's someone you know that could benefit from this content. So, okay, let me get this shared real quick. Here we go. All right, so I want to talk about a few things. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, I want to give you guys a little lesson on Amazon, my history with Amazon FBA and selling on Amazon Seller Central and how I apply that knowledge to um, selling on Merch by Amazon and, and print on demand. So um, there, there are some things that you actually should keep in mind um, when you're selling on Merch by Amazon and these are things that you might not be aware of if you don't have a history with um with online sales or like selling in online marketplaces um one of the most amazing things uh to know about amazon is that there are a lot of free tools out there that can help you to analyze um, the sales history of anything that's listed on amazon so whether that's a t-shirt through merch by amazon or whether that's a regular product through regular amazon and the whole goal obviously when you're listing stuff on amazon is to make sales and the way that you create sales is by creating good designs with good keywords and getting to the first couple of pages of search when you're searching for a certain keyword um, on Amazon. So how do you do that? Well, if it's a niche that is not completely saturated and there's only a couple of designs with that phrase or, or for that niche, then it's not as difficult. If you can find a good niche, make good designs, use keywords that other people are ignoring, and um, organically get yourself um, up to the top of that uh, first page. But there are some other things that you should keep in mind. So number one, when you're selling on Amazon, when you sell that first t-shirt, there's something known as a bestseller's rank on Amazon. So if you've ordered things like for your kids, like the number one hottest selling uh, toy, there's an actual BSR or best sellers rank that you can actually look up on an Amazon listing. So if you go over to one of your t-shirts right now that's in your Merch by Amazon account, one that you've sold, click on it and open it and scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see a best sellers rank. There will be a number there out of the millions and millions and millions of shirts in that category that represents how well your uh, t-shirt or product is selling at that given point in time. It's like a little snapshot of in time. If, um, if an item hasn't sold in a really long time, what happens is the sales rank increases. So the number gets bigger and it kind of sinks lower and lower and lower in the search algorithm when people are looking up a certain uh, term on Amazon. So the point is to have a low sales rank so that you are um, getting more hits when somebody is uh, searching for that key term. So how do you get a good sales rank? Well, you got you have to make sales. So one of the ways that you can do this is by starting off low. Um, I've tried a lot of different strategies. I've tried pricing at $20. I love the set it and forget it, like the crock pot strategy. Um, I'm going to list everything at $20 and then call it a day. And it, it worked really well for me, um, particularly uh, in 2015 into 2016. But I'm always game for changing stuff up to see what happens? So this Amazon FBA knowledge clicked in my head and I thought, why am I treating this any differently? It's still a t-shirt design. It's still a product. I still want to sell it. So I need to make sure that it's, it's getting a good sales rank. Well, what would I do in the regular Amazon world to encourage sales if something was sitting there? Well, you can run ads, and there are a lot of things you can do in, in Amazon Seller Central and, and if you have a brand. But one of the easiest things is just change the price. 
sometimes with a product, there's literally a 50 cent to $1 difference. It can sometimes make a huge difference in the volume of sales. And then when an item sells, again, then it, it um, betters the sales rank on Amazon. It reaches a lower number, like it gets closer to number one. That encourages more sales, and it's just like the cycle over and over again. Um, so if that's what I did with my other products, well, it makes sense to do it with Merch by Amazon as well. So what I did was I've been kind of going through methodically, just grabbing a chunk at a time, using a couple of pieces of software and going through and just repricing stuff that's just been sitting. It's doing nothing. It's just going to fall off of Amazon, Merch by Amazon anyway, if it doesn't sell. So I pushed the, um, prices down to 13 to $14, um, kind of close to break even, a little more than break even. And these are the, the designs that are going to, die anyway um, because they haven't had any sales and a lot of them are starting to sell and then what I'm noting is if I can get back in there within a day to a couple of days of that sale at 13 14 dollars because there's been a sale the sales rank has decreased meaning it's gotten better the number is lower and so it's gonna appear in search more often and so I take that 13 to 14.99 and right up to about 20 bucks um, $19.99, I don't know, that's my like comfort zone for some reason. So then I increase it back up to $19.99, the first customer has gotten it at $13 to $14, but anyone else searching for that over the next week or two is going to hit it on the first couple of pages of search because it had a sale, because its sales rank is good, and then they're going to pay $19.99 for it. It does it work for all designs. No, it's, it's one strategy that might work for you. Um, along with that, um, there are a lot of conflicting studies and information out there as far as how many sales you need to average per item or per shirt or per product to get reviews. So one of the things that you want in order to get longevity on Amazon are product reviews. You need people to go wear your shirt, order your shirt, order your products, and leave a review. On average, from my experience, it, it could take as little as one, but that's not on average. On average, uh, I would say 70 to 80 sales usually results in, um, in feedback. But you know what? Sometimes it's off the first sale, the second sale. So what does that mean? That means that you now have reviews and that Amazon listing is going to live on potentially infinitely um, in the Amazon catalog and you're going to keep accumulating sales on that thing. So uh, what you're striving for when you're listing on Amazon is you want sales because you want the sales rank to go down so that you appear higher in search rank. If you're in a, a niche that's not saturated, it's not a big of a problem. And you're also working towards um, obtaining as many five-star or positive reviews as you can from your customers so that you stake your claim on that listing and that, lo that listing has longevity um, as far as um, being on in the Amazon catalog. So other another thing I want to talk about real quick, um, I just wanted to mention a cute story about Luna. She is really into Harry Potter right now. And she um, wants to have, well, she wanted to have a Harry Potter birthday because her birthday is coming up. And this morning she decided that she didn't want um, a Harry Potter birthday. She wants to have a superhero birthday birthday which um was interesting and i think the decision was made because she um she has two cousins and um the her male cousin said that he um wasn't going to follow the rules to go to the harry potter party to wear a harry potter costume because he wants to wear his batman costume so my sweet little luna decided she's gonna have a superhero party so that her um cousin can wear his batman costume so she told me i have to be wonder woman She's going to be Supergirl, and Dad's going to be Superman. And actually, the dogs, she said, have to be um, – she couldn't think of any super dog names, so they're going to be like Chase and Rubble, I guess. But <laughs> I thought that that was a cute story as I'm going through um, – as I'm going through all of our niches that we're working on over at D4D, I come upon September 25th comic book day. So I talked about this the other day, but um, a good way to launch new designs and new pop sockets and things of that nature is to leverage some of these 
crazy, cool, fun, weird commemorative holidays. So you have September 25th coming up. That's comic book day. Obviously, you got to be careful with trademarks and copyright and things of that nature. But there are a lot of really cool ideas that you can spin off from that. And the one thing that I came up with is just superheroes and heroes in general. So everyday heroes. So if that's something that interests you, um, we do have some RTR packs available and some pop sockets if you head on over to designfordollars.com. If that's kind of a niche that you think is cool or if you want to take advantage of the fact that September 25th is next week, you're going to have these designs where you can capitalize on comic book day and superheroes and heroes, but they're evergreen designs. So they're going to sell throughout the year. Um, so check that out. And um, let me see if I have anything else here. And then, of course, check out our pop sockets. Um, also, let's see here. Let's say hi to everyone real quick before I wrap things up. Danny, Jadine, and Megan, what's up? Thanks for joining. And Stacy, Holly, hey, girls, how are you? Lauren and Eric, what's up? How's it going? So to kind of wrap everything up, I was talking about um, – strategies for increasing sales on merch by Amazon by kind of approaching it as an Amazon FBA seller or an Amazon seller central marketplace seller, looking at things like the number of reviews that your customers are leaving, looking at things like sales rank, change, changing up prices, really approaching it more like a business owner um, and, and using some strategies that you use in marketing and in sales and in business to try to generate as much profit as you can. The other thing I mentioned is that um, there's a special holiday commemorative day coming up, comic book day on September 25th. So if you want to leverage that day, it's a really good day to launch designs like and pop sockets and things of that nature that are related to heroes. If you don't have time to make designs on your own, you guys know we got you over at D4D, um, designfordollars.com. So head on over there and, and check out what we have. We follow that commemorative um, holiday list. So there's a lot of holidays coming up over the next, well, there's a holiday every day or damn near every day. Um, and so we have a lot of, of cool packs that you could run over and say, oh, shoot, the holidays tomorrow. I got to go over there and, and tomorrow. That's a little, that's a little too short notice. The holidays next week or in two weeks, I want to run over there and grab some designs at two in the morning and get them in my merch account. Sweet. That's what we got for you. So, um, again, if you're catching me on Facebook, please like this and share with anyone that, um, can benefit from the content and information. Also, if you're catching this on YouTube, make sure that you hit subscribe and like, and, um, that's it. I'm going to sign off and get some stuff done. I've got a crazy busy weekend, as I'm sure all of you guys do. So um, hopefully you have a, a great rest of your Friday. And if you guys need to get a hold of me, you know where to find me. Take care.